Hey, Miss Laurie, who have you got there with you today? Well, I have I have Laud and I have Oreo, but I'm not really sure Oreo wants to be here with me right now. Oh my goodness! Hey, Oreo, I understand. My cat. The splat, splat the cat came walking through and I picked him up and he was like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. And he kind of scratched and off he went. And I was like, yeah, I think I heard that. Yeah. It's kind of like, wow, he didn't really want to be with me either. He was making it a little hard uh, to love him. And I think I was making it a little hard for him to love me. Sometimes it is hard to love each other. Mm. I'm starting to think that Oreo is thinking that about me right now. Well, that's okay, because we're going to be talking about love today, and sometimes it can be hard to love people and uh, and our pets and our friends and our enemies, so we're going to have to dive into that. Well, welcome, everybody, to Celebrate Wonder. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and here with, of course, Miss Laurie, our director of Children and Youth Ministries, and Laud the Lamb, and Oreo, the disgruntled dog. <laughs> and we're really good. Oh, and the skunk. What's his name? Bob. Oh, that's right. And Bob the skunk. Welcome, Bob. Oh, I think I can smell him from here. In any case, we're really glad you're here for Celebrate Wonder. It is, what week are we on, Miss Laurie? Eight. Week eight. So get your week eight materials out. And um, if you haven't received Celebrate Wonder materials for this section, just let us know in the church office. We'd love to get those to you uh, with the fun activity kit and the materials so that you can participate with us. But um, we probably should head on and get our wonder tables going. What do you think, Miss Laurie? Sounds good to me. Yeah, maybe Oreo can think Oreo. head on and do something else. Bless his heart. Mm -hmm. Bless her heart. <laughs> See you in a minute. Bye. Hi everybody, we're back at our wonder table. We're gonna start by lighting our candle. Remember, yeah. Oh, okay. You're probably wondering why there's a skunk here. His name is Bob. And he wanted to join us today. Yeah. So we're including him. Our word is include. I know. Well, I should have gotten some clothespins. I agree. At least we lit candles. We do. And it smells very nice because this guy here is, even the clock thinks he's stinky. Oh, Bob, it's okay, man. It's who you are. But we love him anyway. Yeah. And we've included him today. Of course we do. Of course we do. It is sometimes it, there are folks in our lives that it's just hard to love. I mean, Bob's kind of nice. He's a nice, he's a nice skunk, even if he does smell bad. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we just find it hard to love people, which makes me think about our Bible story for today. Now, I hope that everybody in your household, that you'll get together and that you'll read our Bible story today out of your Bible or in your Bible app, whatever you're using. It's found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. And Jesus is, has got lots of people gathered around him and he's teaching lots of things. This is often called the Sermon on the Mount. And in this teaching, Jesus says, you have heard it said that you should love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, you should love your enemy and you should pray for them. Because that is what I'm asking you to do. It's not enough to just love people who love you or that are like you, but you need to love everyone, even people who are not like you or maybe um, that you think are your enemy, which got me thinking about, hmm, who might my enemy be? Have you guys been thinking about that? Who might you think of as being your enemy? Hmm. I try not to have any. Well, that is true. Sometimes I think of people who are making it hard for me to do something I want to do. I sometimes think of them as being my enemy or somebody who is being mean to me. I may think of them as being my enemy. Sometimes people who are just not like me or think differently than me, I may think, oh, they're my enemy. But Jesus says, I need to love them. So let's use some of our wonder questions. I wonder what it means to love your enemies. 
I think that that means you can disagree, but it doesn't mean you have to not like them. Sure. You don't have to agree with everybody, but I think that you can still like them and love them, even though maybe they think differently than you do. Sure. I know it helps me to remember that every single person is a child of God. Even if I don't agree with what they're doing, even if they're behaving badly, even when I'm behaving badly, that I'm a child of God and they are a child of God and I can love them. Even if I don't agree with their behavior, I can love them and I can seek a way to uh, come up with a way to be kind and to be helpful. Um, even while I still don't allow somebody to just be mean to me. I think there's a way to do that. I think that's important, right? Yeah, for sure. Why do you think, here's another one of our wonder questions. Why do you think God wants us to love everyone? Because I think he wants us to love everyone like he loves us. Oh, yeah. Because even sometimes when we don't behave very good, I think he still loves us. Oh, for sure. That's right. Maybe sometimes when my kids don't do something I like. I still love them. I might not like what they did, but I love them. love them. Yeah. And you work out and you, and you, uh, you talk about it, right. And you work on it together. That's right. Well, that's good. Well, we should get ready to watch our Bible story. Don't you think? Well, I think so. God loves those. Oh yeah. I love them too. So let's get close in to watch our Bible story. And as we get ready for that, why don't you join with me in a prayer? How about I say a line and you say after me, you ready? Okay. Dear God, Dear God, help me to show your love. Help me to show your love. And to include everyone. And to include everyone. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's watch our Bible story. Hello, friends. I'm Carly. Let me tell you a story. I remember the first time I heard today's scripture. I was at church, just like you. I had a long week at school because a girl in my class was making fun of my friend. As I was listening, I heard my leader say that Jesus tells us to love your enemies. What? That felt so strange. It was the opposite of what I expected to hear. I thought Jesus would say, love your friends or love the people who love you. That made sense to me. But Jesus says the opposite. He tells the disciples that loving people you like is easy. To follow Jesus, we also have to learn to love those who we don't get along with. That seems a lot harder. Is there someone you can think of who might be harder to love than others? For me, it was that girl in my class who was mean to my friend. How can I love her when I didn't see her showing love? After hearing our scripture story, I took a moment to pray and talk to my parents about it. I trust them and I wanted someone to know it was happening. They helped me see that it was important not to treat her like she was treating my friend. Even though she was being mean, it would be wrong to be mean back to her. I can choose to act differently and to not be mean. I try to be kind to her even though it's hard. I try to follow Jesus' teachings and remember that everyone is included in God's love. Friends, it's super easy to love those you like, but it's harder to show love to those who have hurt your feelings or are hard to be around. Whether they're mean, annoying, or even people who are just hard to get along with, it's important that we learn to love everyone. When it's hard to do this, talk to God and ask God what love looks like in that moment. We are all learning how to love better each day, and we can keep getting better at it together. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, it is our activity time. Now, week eight in your bag, it, it has graham crackers, some craft sticks that we use for um, spreading things sometimes, and a container of icing. I know none of those things are listed in your packet, but I thought this would be more fun than maybe craft sticks and glue. So, we're talking today about Jesus loving your neighbor. So we're gonna make a little neighborhood. 
however you want to do it. Now, we're kind of coming off of Christmas, and some of you maybe did some gingerbread houses. We're kind of doing the same thing, but we're going to use graham crackers. Now, I had this a little bit better, but I had it too close to the edge of the table, the first one I did, and the dog ate it when I left it for too long, which was almost no time at all. But you can take out your graham crackers, and you can build whatever size of a village and houses you want. I started with mine this size, but you could also break them in half again, like this, and then you're gonna use your icing on the edges to stick them together. Just like that. And you can make a village however you would like. Big, little, whatever works for you. And you can also, maybe if you want, my dog Luna thought this was the best part. You could dip some graham crackers in some icing and eat them. So have fun guys. Build your village. Bye. Hi, grownups. It's time for your spiritual practice for the week. We've been talking about loving everyone and maybe even loving our enemies as Jesus has asked us to do. And in your Celebrate Wonder instructions for this week, it has um, a wonderful idea to make an origami paper boomerang as a way to help you remember uh, that you can give love and receive love and that that's how God's love flows. I think that's an awesome project. And if you have time to look that up and print out, you know, on uh, find a YouTube video and make a, an origami boomerang, you do that. I probably will try to do that later. But I was playing ball, believe it or not, with my grumpy cat who we were talking about earlier, Splat the cat, who wouldn't come on uh, the screen because he was grumpy and he was making it hard to love but we were playing ball and I was thinking about how a ball can help you about remember about God's love and your love how it can go out and it comes right back you send it out and there's love that comes back it all comes back in a circle so I'll bet you are very likely this week to end up with a ball at some point and playing that with uh, folks in your household with your kiddos um, and every time you do that when you have that ball get that in your hands and think about God's love coming and going and coming back to you and your love going out and coming around and how all that's connected together. Just like when we throw a ball around and play with that together. So enjoy uh, playing with your uh, ball there at home. Enjoy maybe making that origami boomerang if that's how you roll. And remember that you are beloved and loved and God loves you and you are capable of so much love. See you in a few more minutes. Hey everybody. Thank you for joining us on another week of Celebrate Wonder. Don't forget to include everyone and your celebration chart. Don't forget to be marking the things that you're doing each week. Okay. What do you think, Pastor Meredith? Oh, I love that Celebrate chart. I love to see those checks. Those check marks keep going. So we've been talking a lot today about and learning about uh, loving God, loving our neighbor, and Jesus telling us to even love our enemies. And so we're going to learn a special spiritual practice for this week of making the sign of I love you with our hands. So what you do is get your hand and put your palm facing out like this. And this can be kind of tricky, but I believe in you all. Lower down your ring finger and your middle finger to make the I and an L to remember, I love you. To remember that God loves you, that God loves our neighbors, that God loves our enemies, that God loves everyone, and we can love everybody too. So when you need to help, uh, help remember that this week, put your hand up and make the I love you sign. It also kind of looks like we all rock sign. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> Excellent. So remember to stick around for a few more minutes because we love getting to sing our song together and it's welcome. So stick around and watch our music video. I love you, Miss Laurie and Laud. Love you too, Pastor Meredith. All right. We love all of you out there. Love you. We'll see you next week. Enjoy the singing. Bye. Nothing.
in common about your grace The way you grow such beauty from the dirt It doesn't matter the time or place You're right here with us even when we hurt Cause you weep us together like the seasons Good news is only good if it's for everyone So we welcome Cause you welcome Are we blessed Cause we're blessed Blessed on everything.